sure guys have you ever been frustrated because you sent in your song for collaboration to a producer and they just get errors when they try to open it this happens for several reasons maybe they're using a previous version of apple studio or they're using a different daw software or maybe the file just corrupted you know it happens so in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can better export your project file um, such that any producer who's using any version of Apple Studio won't find errors when they try to open it. Likewise, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. Let me know whether you found this video to be very helpful. Otherwise, let's get into the business. So as you can see, I have two windows of Apple Studio open here. This one is just an empty one to demonstrate to you how efficient the way we will export is. So this is my project file that I will be intending to send to a producer um, at a certain point. Let me just play it for you guys so you can hear how it sounds. So if you could go to our channel, like this is how it looks like. The best way to to go about this would be to export all of our sounds as web files. Um, to do this, I'm just gonna go to export and make sure that all of your sounds are on the same um, pattern. Then go to file, export, and then web file. I'm just gonna export everything to this folder type, um, type of collaboration. Um, it's on web and then this is just you altering the quality of your web files 24 is preferable and then just make sure that it split every mixer track and then switch to song mode I mean pattern mode so that it only exports the I'm sure it's 8 bar loop so go redo the process export web file and then save and then start so now let's go to our empty Apple Studio template select a BPM 118 now what you have to do is delete the master wave and also the current output. So you just select them both then delete. And then I'm just gonna select all of these sounds and then paste them on my playlist. So as you can see it just exported everything into my empty template and I can just easily duplicate all of these sounds and there I have my project file. However, dealing with web files can be very limiting because you can't change the key of an individual note inside the whole um, web file. You can't add notes you can't change the sounds the only thing you can do is play around with the volume but then you can't really access what's happening inside here so let's say maybe the producer just wants to find out at least what key were you playing in or what note were you pasting in your piano roll or what pattern were you following this is how you'd go about solving that problem so what you'd want to do is go to tools macros and then prepare for media export just make sure not to save your file after doing this process at least save your file before but then don't save after because it's just gonna take all your sons away as you can see this um, whole process cannot be um, undone so just click ok now it's gonna change all your sounds to MIDI. If I press play, you won't hear any sound. So the next thing you want to do now is go to export and then export the MIDI file. Same folder. Um, 
let's just create a new folder and say MIDI file then save and then start so now that is done exporting I can go to my folder and then load the MIDI file into my FO Studio template and then it's going to pop up this dialog and it's going to ask you which channels to import and then um, select all tracks accept what this is going to do is going to import all of the nodes that were used on the original track into the sampler but then let's say maybe you want to work on the individual um, nodes uh, maybe a pad so let's just load a pad You can still load the MIDI file into the pad, but then now select the plugin that I used to generate the pad. I'm assuming it was Nexus that I used on that project, so I'm going to click OK and then play on pattern mode. Now let's say I want to import the baseline that was used. I can load my preferred sound for baseline let's say log drum and then I can import the MIDI file but then select say maybe log drum and then accept so this way the producer can easily um, alter the nodes, change the sound and do actually anything with your project file without encountering any sort of errors. So that will be it for today's video and I hope you guys found this very helpful.